Yo, what's going on, 67 Lunder Squad? I told you yesterday that today's video is going to be Hebo using the meta build. And I, I'm not just saying like, oh, it's meta. I used it. I used this build that, that I made the video about yesterday. I used this build at least 10 games yesterday and every single game I won. Actually, that's not true. One of the games I lost, but I was Achilles, so it doesn't really count. It doesn't really count. Now, this is going to be a great test because I'm fighting a counter matchup. Fenrir completely counters me. So we'll, uh, we'll see, dude. We'll see how well. This is a, this is a true test. Everyone knows the biggest counter matchup in Smite is Fenrir versus Hebo, right? You press three and Hebo dies. He, even his alt can't get out of it. So I'm, I'm, I'm nervous. I'm nervous. I hope my, my, uh, Oh, all right. That was good. Come back. No, why did I aim that? Why did I aim like that? Nice. Okay. I don't know why. I, w I was like, I could kill him or I could hit some minions. <laughs> like, what? Why did I do that? Who does that? That was such a bogus, a bogus thing. I hit him with my one eight times. Eight times. Holy guaca smoky, dude. Holy guaca smoky. By the way, if you're wondering, I know uh, yesterday I was popping the med and the horn shard at the same time. I've adapted my strategy to be. A duo a duo relic strategy so i pop the med and then after i pop the med i'll pop the horn shard so i have lower cooldowns for longer rather than no cooldowns for a short duration a little adaptation to the meta if you will you get back in your tower young man you only leave when i tell you to hey Oh, gosh. Did my ult hit him? Oh, it did. Okay, yeah, he's backing. There's no way you're coming over here. Who are you kidding? Who are you kidding? I don't have enough mana. I got no mana. He's level 5. I kind of want to just mez or med, but doesn't that eliminate like my entire build? <laughs> just chucking a mez out there, or a met, met, met. Oh, okay. What? <laughs> what? <laughs> Yo, what's happening? My brain. Med, 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 med. I don't know why I just stuttered so hard. Anyways, the whole point of my build is for med to carry me with cooldowns. If it's not doing that, then it's not working. Look at that, dude. Look at that combo. This build is too damn good. It's too damn good, dude. Like, you just can't beat it. I don't understand. I know people are calling it bad. Because you delay your your early game a little bit. But, like, come on. It's so good. I don't have the mana. Grab that. I'm just going to go straight soul gem here. Just straight soul gem, dude. Let's go. 
It's like you don't even need You don't even need an item when you have no cooldowns, you know? Whoa. What if I did this on Fenrir and I had no items? What if I did the no no item Fenrir again? Hmm. Interesting. Interesting. Can't box me at all. Yeah, I mean, not at this point. I'm too far ahead at the moment. I'm too far ahead at the moment. You know, I'm a thousand gold up. If you want to get technical about it, I guess I'm only like zero gold up. Because 800 from the extra relic upgrade and then 300 from the chalice so our itemization is pretty normal pretty even i mean but uh i have like no cooldowns whenever i want them so that's pretty sick oh come over here ah he came over here but he was just peeping he was just peeping no harm no foul if you hit me i'll kill you Oh god. Oh Jesus. Oh Jeepers. Why did he age us? Why did he age us? I got very lucky. I got very lucky. I don't know why he ages that. I guess he thought whenever he landed I was gonna 3 1 him. But the only reason I three is to get away, right? Like to knock him up to run or to knock him closer, I guess. I will not say no to <sighs> oh man. I don't know, dude. Every time something like this happens in Smite where I have a new build all of a sudden and it just works. And it's not like a, not like a one time. Oh, this build worked. And it's the new meta, like auto attack Hades. Ha ha ha. No, it's like this. I, I've played this this build with meditation and horn shard on like at least 10 other gods. And it's worked every time, except for the Achilles game where I was fighting it on her. And I just surrendered at the five minute mark because I wasn't going to win that game anyways. Okay. But other than that, we won every game. It's insane. Don't hit me. Oh, this is not good. Oh. He died to an archer. Let's go, dude. Archers are so cool. They're so cool. I'm gonna wait for this red buff. I don't want him to have it. And the bonkus and the bonkus. Oh, this is not good. But he just ran. He saw my cooldowns ticking down and he ran away. You goat. How dare you? Wait, I think he made a misplay. I think he's not maxing his three. Wait, are you not maxing three? Nah, okay. I, I'll don't worry. I'll give him the tips. I'll give him the tips real quick. Hit the play again button against <coughs> Hebo. You always want to max three because Ebo has no way to get out of it. You're knock up immune in your three, so I can't three it. I'm dumb. Not dumb. You're not dumb. Everyone makes mistakes. Okay. Okay. 
Fuck. All right, see you guys in game two. Welcome back, boys. Game number two of the the Hebo onslaught with massive OP relics. Finding a soul this time, which is a little a little spooky because I don't know if uh, I'm gonna be able to kill her. Excuse me. I don't know if we're gonna be able to kill her because she can just press three and like you know do -do 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 -do, run away. So who knows? But it's not gonna stop me from trying. And let's just say I do kill her. She well, she has no CC, so I can actually pop. Oh god, excuse me. I can actually pop both relics at the same time and get hecka cooldowns off because, like I said, she. She has no form of CC, so I should be okay to just jump the gun a little bit with my relics. But we'll see. Oh my god, dude. Look at that. I didn't get the kill, but like we easily almost killed her and then secured the red buff. So strong. Like it, oh dude, I can't, I can't stress it enough how I know that it seems bad. I know it does. Okay. I get, I get it. I get it. Hello. Damn dude here. Understanding. But, like, it's so good, man. I'm going to be deceased here. Wait, maybe you're deceased here? Oh. He's deceased. Perfect. We got the blue buff. We got the red buff. I grabbed this. I grabbed this. Yada, yada. Boom, shebang. I'm 400 gold up. Boom, shebang. 400 smackaronis up. It's just too good to be true sometimes, man. <clears throat> I killed him twice. I didn't kill him twice. I almost killed him twice. Now you're gonna run. Yeah, I can't. I can't kill you. Um. You know what? I will let you live. I will let you live because, frankly, I just don't have the mana to kill you a second time. I will in 20 seconds, though. Ow. That only did 150 damage. I am so close to being able to kill this guy. Oh, no. No. The tower. The tower, dude. And not only the tower, but the Aegis, too. He had threed, and then he Aegis into his three. So he had, like, 30 seconds of invincibility. Maybe a little bit of an exaggeration, but still, like, uh, the equivalent of 30 seconds in gamer time. Which is, like, four. That gives you 1.5 seconds of invincibility, and then Souls 3 is 3 seconds. So it is, it literally is 4.5 seconds of invincibility. Alright. Well, he makes an amazing play with the Aegis and 3, and then just lets me roll him with my ult. <clears throat> Dude, okay. I need you guys to understand something. I've been seeing uh, Bancroft's Talon very often recently. You do not buy that item by itself. You buy that item when you have other items. It is not a, a singular item. Like, you get Bancroft's, and then you get, like, two more power items, and then you get Bancroft's Talon. 
Never before. Never before. Trust me on this. I just got to juke him a little bit with my move speed here. He actually has to be really scared of me, I feel. <clears throat> yeah, but like, let me put it this way. Nimble Bancrofts is, that's 600 gold for, it gives you 200 power if you're half health, so 10% attack speed. So it's, it's, if you're at, if you're like basically dead, then it gives you 10% attack speed. If you're full health, it gives you 4% attack speed. So like 600 gold for 4% attack speed, why not just get this? That's 5% attack speed for 600 gold and 20 magical power on top of it. I don't know, man. It's never a good thing to get by itself. You always need to get some sort of damage item beforehand. And, you know, getting a defensive item and then upgrading it, also just as bad, by the way. You have to get a damage item for Nimble Bancrofts to be good. And I really do not take objectives quickly. You have my cooldowns up, though. Oops. Trying to do a little bit of damage here. Oh, okay. Oh. I didn't even I didn't even need to use my horn shard there. Obviously I used my med because I was dying, but the horn shard I used because I was like, well, I'm going to need to use a couple rotations of abilities to kill him here. But uh, I didn't. He died in, in one ability. Please get the tower. Please. Nice. He didn't finish his item. Which is good for me. I'm intrigued to see why he just ignores me. Like, have you lost your hope already? Oh, you are so dead. Ebo is so OP. And then you add on the combo that you can do for his early game, and he's just like Omega Omega OP. All right, I got 3,000 gold. Let's go back here. I grab the soul gem. Um, I mean, I could go defense, but I'm not going to because I don't need to. I'm 2,000 gold up and three levels up, so there's pretty much nothing he can do to me. At least I assume that. I could be wrong. Um, I want to do... Hello. Wow. Wow, my damage. Holy. That's incredible. My damage is insane, man. Holy. Can we do the... Oh, I was going to say the good old bonkaroonie, but we didn't. We didn't hit the bonker Rooney. What are you doing? Hmm? What are you doing here? What is this? You got someone you want to show me? You got something you want to show me? Want to show the class? All right. Big kill. Big kill. I did have to use my med there, but that's okay. Let's horn shard for some Titan damage here.
Nice. Nice little... Uh, I don't know. 3,000-ish damage on the Titan there. Why did only one minion live there with, like, the smallest sliver of HP? I don't understand. Alright, he went Cyclopean Ring. That does give you another 4% attack speed for Bancrofts. Attack speed at 1.57. It's still feeling pretty slow for a soul. I was going to go get red, but I decided not to. Hello. Damn. You know that you're down bad when you have to immune in your fountain. Jeez Louise. I died to so much damage. <laughs> 1,500 with my one over the course of three. So like 500 on average. Plus two soldier procs. Plus three divine ruin procs. Oh my god. It's just brutal. And you get to that late game for free by using the, the med horn shard. This is the combo that I originally wanted to show off. And now I can. I hope you guys enjoyed. Uh, if you did, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And until next time, peace.